So let's take a quick look at this. This is the battery out of the flume. You remember some time back there was a video where I installed this super easy. Uh, the battery seemed to only last about a year, which is about what they tell you. And of course it's some kind of a proprietary... Come on, focus. Yeah, I guess that's about as good as it gets. Proprietary thing. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside of here. It's probably two lithium cells of some sort, probably two three volt lithium cells. We'll figure out what size they are and we'll just make our own. Uh, these are probably a T5 or a T6. I can't get mine in here because uh, the, the bit's too fat to fit down in there. So you have to have a bit that's got a small shank. But I just use the little tiny uh, flat blade because they're Torx. And uh, boy, the phone just doesn't focus like my... should get my hand held anyways. Uh, I was able to loosen these screws up with just a little tiny flat blade, you know, jeweler screwdriver. Um, they're not going to be very tight, so... Uh, should be able to crack this thing open and see what they got in here. And there they are. So it's four AA lithium cells. So doesn't get much easier than that. Um, so I need to order some of these because I don't have any. And uh, no, you can't use alkalines. They're a different voltage. Um, these lithiums. I uh, have to see how they got this organized in here, but maybe they are 1.5s. It could be 1.5, 1.5 to give you three, and then they're in parallel. That's what it looks like. Um, but let me take it apart, and I'll let you know. So, yeah, that's exactly what they did. They've got them in uh, parallel here. So you've got a 1.5 and 1.5. I thought the lithium lithium cells this size would have been higher voltage than 1.5 apiece, but I guess not. I'll, I'll have to see when I get this off, the shrink wrap off here. It'll tell me. Um, but yeah, so, you know, a 1, 5 plus 1, 5 on top, and then, of course, on the bottom, 1, 5 plus 1, 5 uh, gives you uh, two 3-volt sections. Uh, so 3 volts for these two and 3 volts for these two, and then you see they got them in parallel right here. See? Pretty simple. So um, it's probably more work than it's worth to, you know to do this because I have to solder these to solder these on here and uh, they're spot welded the way they do these I don't exactly have the right equipment but I can I can do it um, it's almost out of principle for me um, I don't like stuff like this I don't like oh you must buy our crap um, I don't like it even if it costs me the same amount uh, which I don't think it will I uh, I, I yeah not a, not a fan. Um, you could put alkalines in here with the voltage, but uh, you're not going to get near the capacity. The energy density in a lithium battery is much higher um, than an alkaline cell, so don't do that. So I'm just going to order up some, you know, uh, you know, Chang Dong batteries off of the off of the Amazon or something like that, and uh, we'll, we'll make our own here. Of course, it'll only last a year. Um, I could do rechargeables, but that's kind of a pain in the ass. So, yeah, they, they kind of really screw you with this. So I'm going to think about this for a minute, see if I can make this really well serviceable in the future. Um, it's annoying. I don't like this. I love the flume. The thing is great. It's really, you know, if I, I, mean, I haven't done an update on this thing. Um, it, you know, there's been a couple times the hose bib's been left on leaking and stuff like that. And it tells you and you get a, you get an alert and it can be a tiny trickle. So that's really awesome. But I don't like this. I don't like these custom things like this. It's really annoying. You know what? I'm stupid. I, I don't even need to use this form factor. We're going to do this. We're going to do this my way. I'm not even going to bother with that. This is super, look at how accessible it is. They got room for two packs in here. I can put any battery I want in here. So it's three volt, right? And what do they got in here? They got four, 4.35 watt hour batteries in it. Yeah, it needs to be three volt system. That's it. So yeah, we got three volt and three volt. So we could put anything we want in here. We could put, um, you know, we could put it at 18650 or whatever those big giant, I probably got one of them over here. Let's see here. We could probably put these things in there. You know, so this is 6.8 milliamp hours, uh, or 6,800 milliamp hours, so 6.8 uh, amp hours. 
So that that's pretty that's pretty high energy density. What are they? They rated this in watt hours. 4.35 divided by 1.5. So yeah, I can get way more energy density in there just by putting a couple of 18 650s in there. And these are rechargeable. Of course, they're 3.7, which is going to float it a little bit high. I don't think that that's really going to, I don't think it's going to hurt anything though. But let me think about this because I, I can do non-rechargeable ones and just make my own. I'll just get some lithium you know, I'll get some, I'll find some lithium cells because these, like, these two, I mean, you could, right, I could put, I could put two of these in there and, and just put some clip leads on it. We'll customize it because I, I don't like this. This is out of spite. I don't like this custom crap. All right. So this is what we came up with and stick your foot in your mouth, Danny. These, these actually do have, these are 3000 milliamp hours a piece. So they're considerably more than than uh, 18650, which I find really very interesting. But I guess they designed it to work on three volts. I could probably run this on three seven, but you know what? We'll just do it this way. So, anyways, what I did is I just got a bunch of these, you know, cheap Chinese brand uh, battery holders. I got a whole, I don't know, I think twelve of them for like eight bucks. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just permanently install two sets of these because uh, we're going to need two to get the capacity. So one of these is three volts, each one. We'll put them series parallel. And I'll install one here. I'll install one here. I'm just going to solder the leads directly to this, and we'll just stick these in here. These will fit just fine, just like that. Maybe like that. And uh, we'll just put two sets of them in here. I got eight, eight batteries here. And that'll probably run this thing for a few years. Okay, I removed the board. Uh, it's just some T8 torque screws um, because that way I can access the solder joints that are already on here. Boy, the phone just sucks at this. I really should get the good camera, but too late. Um, so anyways, we'll just solder them right to there. So I'll show you how I do that in a second. And then uh, battery packs, I just got some quick five minute epoxy. We'll wait for that to harden up. Um, and epoxy these together to make uh, a series parallel pack. Uh, you can't get one of the four packs. I think the four packs are six volt. Um, you gotta have it set up like this, or you gotta, if you're gonna get a four, you're gonna have to rearrange it to be series parallel because we want three volts and three volts. It's for the capacity. So if you get six volts, that won't work. So we'll get, uh, we'll get those leads soldered up. So two of the reds from, from here will go there. And two of the blacks from here will go there. And then the same thing for the second pack, two reds and two blacks. Pretty interesting too, if you look at this, there's the antenna, that's a bow, look, bow tie looking thing. And then this, you know, there's just tiniest little circuits on this thing. There's really not much to it. It's pretty cool. So I, I'm assuming, now where's the, that's the antenna for sure. I wonder how it picks up the uh, meter. Yeah, I don't see anything special there as far as how it picks up the meter. I'm not sure, but uh, there's some kind of strips and something on the other side of this. So I don't know. I'm just curious about how it works. But uh, anyways, it's just a little sidebar thing. This is going to work out really awesome. They've got these perfect little loops on the back here. I'm not exactly sure why, probably for other types of connections, but it works perfect for us. So... We'll hook these on here. I'll take the second uh, second pack and I'll do the same thing here and just solder it up real quick. As you can see, this fits perfectly. So got this one, this one, and they will fit. I checked, they'll fit this way in here. Maybe I could even get them this direction. Um, you could potentially use these battery packs if you got like the flume ones, which I can't even seem to find. I don't even know if this company went out of business. I was looking just to see and I can't even find their battery packs, but um, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, so we got these, they'll both fit in here nicely like that. Um, you know, I, I could have cleaned this up with some shrink tube and stuff, but I'm kind of in a hurry. So I just did it quick. Like I said, I epoxied those together, soldered these to the back there. This fits nice and snug in here, but plenty, plenty of room still to put this uh, clamp piece back in here. So it actually came out quite nice. I'm, I'm very pleased. 
And uh, so I'm just using those Energizer lithium batteries, lithium double A's. They've just got a higher, you could put alkalines in here, but they won't last as long. They don't have near the capacity that lithium does. Um, but it's, it's cool because you could use double A's, I suppose, if you wanted to. So anyways, um, let me pop the batteries in here and see if this thing works. Okay, so I'm using the phone so I can't show you, but it's telling me uh, that the batteries have been recently replaced now in the app and that recalibration is needed and I'll have to look up. I don't remember what that means, so I'll have to go back through that. Maybe I did it in the first video to go back and look at it. But anyways, that'll wrap this one up. Um, so th there you go, you know, lithium, uh, lithium battery replacement. These are much more commercially available. You know, you can just go buy a lithium uh, double A's anywhere. You know, I got these on Amazon, I think for 20 bucks or something, and you can replace them much easier than those silly packs that are proprietary. I don't like proprietary stuff. So anyways, that'll wrap this one up. Uh, you know, this thing works good. Other than that, it needed batteries and, and, uh, I wanted to come up with something that was a better solution that was more universal. So anyways, we'll wrap it up.